Ah! Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, somebody sent me this picture. Anybody want to tell me what in the hell going on with prophylactic patty over here? What's happening? So I, I feel like somebody trying to low-key disrespect Big Mama. Yeah, I, I that's how I feel. I feel like she she she, she low key being disrespected. Y'all done slick put the condoms on her head, told her that's gonna keep her hair moist and soft, and and prevent split ends. Now she's sitting in here with 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 spermicide all in her hair, all these chemicals, whatever kind of lubricant that is. I I, I don't know. I re, I really really don't you know understand. It might have been her choice. Maybe she. She knows, I don't know, I, see, I don't know where the picture was taken. There may be some places where nobody knows what a condom even looked like. You understand? I'm trying to be, you know, understand. You know, you have to be sometimes. I'm trying to understand. But it's hard. It's, 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 it's very difficult. I feel like maybe, just maybe, what happened was, you know, back in the day, they used to have a jerry curl. Right? And people used to have a plastic bag to put the shower cap on the head. You know what I'm saying? And the shower cap used to make a lot of noise. You know what I'm saying? People get tired of that little crumple, crumple, trickle, trickle, trickle. They get tired of all that. And, you know, maybe they didn't have the, the, the you know, the, the, the shower cap no more. They didn't have none left. So they were like, well, I know what we can use. You know what I mean? Because we just trying to keep these little buns moist. You know what I mean? And, and you know, now they just decided to put, you know, condoms all over her head. I don't know if they're using these again, if they're going to throw them away. You can't flush them down the toilet. Um, Yeah. I really, I, I'm, I, you know, I don't know. I hope that you don't get the condoms of somebody that's planning on using them properly. Cause that's probably you know what I mean. You got hair chemicals in your, you got hair chemicals in the condom now. So if they put the prophylactic on with the hair chemical, you got mane and tail in there or whatever it is you got in there, and they put that on it, then somebody gonna have like rashes and stuff. It's gonna be an outbreak. You know what I mean? It's gonna be a not. It's not gonna be contagious. It ain't gonna be an STD. It's just gonna be an outbreak. Cause you not. I don't. I don't think you supposed to put any kind of hair chemical on your genitalia. You know what I mean? Because, cause, you know, grandmamas is nice like that. They put the condoms on their head, and after the condoms serve a purpose, they stack them all up and be like, well, let me get these to my grandson because he out there now. You know what I mean? I could tell by the way, you know, uh, he walking that he doing something. And the little girl that he brought uh, by the house, uh, I met her. And then the next time I saw her, she, she was a little bow-legged. So I know they doing something. Let me go on and get these to my grandson. I can just, she ain't even gonna put them back in the pack. Just put them in a little, in a, in a grocery bag.